Welcome to Brough Sowerby. Um, we are just about three miles away from Kirby Stephen, about a mile away from the A66 and Brough, um, and we are positioned in this fantastic rural area. Now we have a really interesting property to see, well actually properties. So just to give you a bit of a rundown, the uh, site is around about 20 acres. It incorporates itself with a lake, which uh, I am really excited, excited to be able to show you soon. We've got a large um, uh, Cumbrian sandstone farmhouse and it is significant in size. Four bedrooms, loads of reception rooms, um, and it's um, got some really interesting features throughout. To the side of it, there are two uh, buildings which have currently been used as offices for a number of years, but um, they have full consent to be converted into um, residential property. Um, I think they would both make uh, three bedroom properties quite comfortably, so there's two of those. And almost all of the work is done, so it's just a case of putting in walls and working out how you want the structure to be. To the rear of that is a recently fully renovated or fully rebuilt uh, three bedroom detached bungalow. And that's beautiful, really, really well done. Now, just to show you a little bit of where we are, there is absolutely belting views in every direction. And you can see behind us, we have the fell range, which is just behind Kirby Stephen. And we've got the nine standards just above my head somewhere, I believe. Um, it's an absolutely corking position. You have fells front and back. You have open field views as far as you can see. But the most important thing with this is it's fully standalone. You have neighbors, but not very close. You are kept within your own area. So that means that if you want privacy, this has that in bucket loads. The um, front of the site has been used uh, for light industrial for a number of years. And there is a huge um, parking forecourt. And you'll see from different parts later on that it's big enough to take lorries if you want to have a work live environment. Um, there are loads of agricultural buildings which equally could be used as storage or very easily taken down so that you can just have this as a standalone um, residential uh, area for yourself. There is all sorts of potential for um, leisure and hospitality facility, um, maybe even looking at pods, yurts, that kind of thing. And that would obviously be subject to the relevant planning consents. So there is so much to show you. This is going to be a very long video. I hope you don't get too bored. Well, actually, I know you can't because this is absolutely beautiful. But um, uh, we'll turn around, show you the area, and hopefully you like what you see. Okay, so as you can see over here, it's a little bit of cloud cover, but that's the nine standards, which is um, yeah, a really well-known uh, spot. Uh, and the views from here over towards it are quite spectacular. As you can see, it's a very sunny, wintry morning, or sorry, uh, wintry day, I should say. And it's uh, the visibility, the views that you've got are quite breathtaking. So this little road here, which comes from the front of the site, and I'll show you that properly in a minute. And that, that takes you through to the um, detached bungalow that's over here. The property itself, as we get closer to it, starts to show how big it is. I mean, it's really lovely done inside. Um, it's got a really good vibe to it. They've spent obviously quite a significant amount of money to be able to make sure that it's as up to date as possible. When you look at things like the roofs and stuff like that, it looks as if everything's been kept in wonderful condition. But there's a lot of it, a lot of different spaces and a lot of different uses. It could be that you're looking for something from a holiday let perspective and the main house is fantastic. It's a huge family home. But having the two potential holiday lets to one side and having that lovely bungalow just through there, is um it's absolutely great so i'm going to walk down to the front of the site and then take you around and show you a bit of this property so coming around to the front now this is the private road that goes for quite some distance all the way up to here um to uh, the road that leads between bruff and uh, and kirby stephen and this is the private road that comes up towards the property so you've got quite a lot of land everywhere i mean this is this is all land that comes with uh, with, with the with the property and this uh well if you buy here you're never going to be short of parking i think i've managed to sort of spot about 50 to 100 spaces so far so depending on your use whether or not you want to use this as a commercial facility or whether you want to uh just have it as a wonderful family home with um all the parking you could ever imagine 
very good for parties, I should imagine. Um, but there's land everywhere. And as I said, there's just a, just a little in excess of 20 acres from what we've been able to um, ascertain from the title plan. So it's when you get to this point, you realize that this would have been a big farmsteading at some point. There's quite a lot of old agricultural buildings. It hasn't been used for agriculture for a, for a long time. But it's when you get to the front here that you start to realize that this entire length here is residential property. And from this section here onwards are the two properties which are, which are fully independent, um, fully independent electrics and everything else. Um, and this huge building here is the uh, four bedroom farmhouse with uh, yeah, just so much space, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. So I'm gonna take you inside now, have a look around the property and give you a better idea, but because there's so much to see, there's gonna be a bit of a whistle stop tour and we'll give you a bit of an idea as we go on as to how everything is. Okay, so let's go into Sowerby Lodge. So as we enter the entrance hall, we've got a lovely big staircase, solid oak flooring. That's uh, and this I'm going to whistle around here because this is quite a big house. So we've got a lovely sitting room, complete with an open fireplace and fabulous fell views, which is rather lovely. <clears throat> so our second reception room is what's being currently used as a formal dining room. It's quite a generous space. And I'm just gonna sneak around the corner here because you've got this lovely sandstone fire, open fireplace, which is rather nice. And again, the views out of the windows are, um, are really pleasant. The, the outlook everywhere is absolutely lovely. So coming into the main hub of the house, we've got this large kitchen diner. It's got some really interesting quirks in here. You've got, uh, all of these bits that have obviously been reclaimed and parts that were um, the little arch in the door and things like that, which really kind of make this a uh, quite an inviting space, but very high ceilings too. So I'm just gonna take you into the utility area. And in here, we've got a really spacious utility room, perfect for dogs and all the washing and bits. And then we've got this lovely vaulted area which is uh absolutely fantastic it's um clearly being used as a bit of a wine cellar at the moment which is very nice and for bits of storage but it's quite something it's um i'm sure it's got a big story behind it but it's uh, a really really interesting space and then we come into the what's currently being used as a games room but all i can say is that this is quite a substantial room it's, um, I mean, that's a six foot or seven foot long pool table. So it just shows how substantial this space is. And again, really high ceilings. I think there's a boiler is housed in here. Um, and then this doorway here goes through into uh, one of the two um, uh, residential uh, part done barn conversions. So I'll just stop and show you there's a second entrance, so a second, second, second set of stairs, which lead up to a rather, rather special room. And we'll come back to that in a moment, but I'm just gonna have a little walk through here. Looks fantastic on the camera, hopefully you're enjoying this. And we'll go upstairs and have a look at the bedroom space. So it's a big house, and as you can see, there's so much accommodation. The bedrooms, when we see them in a moment, are all very nice and generous. Um, and we have these other two incredibly special areas that I want to show you. So we'll start off with the smallest bedroom. And that is a large double room with views out over the fells and over those magnificent field views. The family bathroom, nice double-ended tub, shower, and everything in here, nice, white, plain, and in really, really good order. So the split in the stairs here, um, this first part will take you up to quite a generous size double bedroom with, and I like to show the views because it's a very important thing, but fantastic elevated mountain views 
But this room also comes with an ensuite, which is rather nice. So we have an ensuite shower room and a big window. You're not overlooked. <laughs> takes in some of those spectacular views again. So back down to the split in the stairs, we've got a lot of storage. And what house wouldn't be uh, complete without that? We've got a nice double room with, again, nice high elevated ceilings. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool. So as you come into here, you have a first floor sitting room, but you've also got this wonderful arched sunroom, which looks over the, um, the outlook to the rear. And I'm just gonna show you this before I walk back up the stairs to go, but look at this. I mean, oh, there's a nice comfy armchair there. If I was sitting there, my view's out would be over towards the fells every day, completely unoverlooked. So that's the back staircase that I showed you a minute ago. But coming back up into this room, now this is an absolute beauty. There's lots of oak in here. It's been done to a very high, um, very opulent standard. Even to the point where, for those of you that have seen my videos before, you know I've got great big fat hands, that is, to give a bit of scale. This is a huge piece of wood. It's almost something that would build a ship back in the, uh, back in the Armada days, but a bit of a view out the front. And then as you look up, we've got a staircase that takes us, and this staircase is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's been done to such a beautiful standard. And I'll give you a bit of an elevated look downwards when, uh, when, I, yeah, when I get to this point. But this mezzanine isn't a tiny little mezzanine. It's got a six seater table up here, which could easily be 10 if you wanted to. And as an extra space with those views um, back down. Wow, how cool is that? And then last, but by all means not least, probably one of the largest bedrooms I think I've ever seen. So that's a really good size. Looks like a king size bed, maybe queen size. And in comparison to the size of this space, just to give you a bit of perspective, that is the master bedroom. And the views again are out over towards the fells, but not once, but twice. We have a dual aspect and then the same looking back over towards the fells. What a bedroom and complete with a lovely, en suite and a big old shower. So that then concludes the tour of the main house. And I'm just gonna sh finish on that view and then we'll go and have a look at the bungalow outside. So this is that back part of the um, stunning area that I showed you before. And this is the bungalow that we're about to go and have a, have a look at, as you can see, perfectly fitting um, the rest of this site and great views. So let's have a wander down and have a little look. So this is the rear part of where um, there are two commercial buildings that could easily just be reconverted as they've got the consent into residential property and proper market led residential property. So you could use them as holiday lets or you could Sell one on if you wanted to, that would be completely up to the buyer, buyer's discretion. And then this is the bungalow. So let's go and have a peek inside. Okay, so let's go and have a look. As you can see, this is called Lodge Cottage. And yeah, it wasn't that long ago. This place was f fully, fully rebuilt. Um, I've seen some pictures of what it used to look like and what it looks like now. It's absolutely amazing. So we've got quite a lovely size country style eating kitchen diner but look at this yeah. old part this old um uh, i think it would be a divider for a cow shed which is quite cool and then we've got this nice extra area here which they've obviously got dresses in the views out of the windows in every direction are rather lovely so uh, there's a bit of storage in here and as we come into this uh very decent sized um, lounge diner. You can see there's obviously those French doors through through here that we were in a minute ago. I'll stand at the back of the room just to give you a bit of a scale, but 
And it's absolutely huge. A really, really good space. Now there's a bit of a sunroom over there and I'm gonna come back to that as we finish. But this fireplace is worth a mention. It's uh, really nicely done. It's a nice big Inglenook style um, and it's a really good focal feature. I'm gonna pop over towards the window. It's very, very sunny in here, so it shows how much light you get, but the views out are rather lovely. So I'll show you all of the bedrooms in turn. We have, I think this is one of the smaller ones. It's got a single in, but it would hold a double very comfortably. Um, it's a nice bright place, considering it's a part of an old um, uh, uh, conversion. You'd think that sometimes these things can be a bit dark, but the windows are huge, so it really does ooze light everywhere. Nice big shower room, and again, a bit of exposed beamwork, really showing a bit of feature. A nice storage cupboard. We then have a further bedroom, which has got a few boxes in, but I'll just give you a quick flick into there. That's a, a nice double. And then we have the final bedroom, which is a nice generous double again with that bit of exposed beamwork. So a really nicely thought out place. And as I said, this is just a quick, um, a quick nip around just to give you a bit of an idea of how everything lays out. So finishing off in this sunroom, um, as you can see from the, the first part of the video, there's um, land everywhere. So you can take as much garden space if you wanted, if you wanted to, this as a holiday let or as a place for, um, I don't know, grandparents or to share accommodation. You've got a big three bedroom property. But as you can see all around, there is pretty much as much garden as you could want to take. And this nice garden area that's already been created is absolutely lovely. And those views looking out towards the fells are absolutely breathtaking. So that concludes the tour of this uh, beautiful bungalow. Let's uh, get back to showing you some of the commercial parts that are outside. Okay, now I'm not gonna take you in to see these, but these are the park converted buildings. As you can see, this is over three floors. You've got a separate door and another separate door. So they are fully independent dwellings and they do have residential consent. So ready for them to be finished. And there's not a huge amount of work to do, but I'm gonna walk now through, show you a little bit of the light industrial area that's there at the moment. I mean, there's lots of agricultural and industrial buildings about. Um, this is currently being used by another company. So we'll have a little wander down here. Now, as I've probably mentioned before, there's a huge amount of buildings here. They're uh, very useful. There's some great storage space. There's, um, uh, uh, if you want to run a business from here, um, then it's incredible. Um, you've got a large steel portal frame building over to the other side, which I'll just give you a brief glimpse of, which, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, this is all built so that it can, it's quite uh, um, industrial. It's been used for, for, an, for a number of years. Um, for an industrial purpose, which means they can get lorries and wagons and bits and bobs in and out of here very comfortably. And you can see over here, you can actually back in a, a wagon to the back so for unloading. So there's a huge amount of buildings here. I mean, the other thing, really and truthfully though, if this isn't anything that appeals to you, you could easily be knocked down and, uh, and repurposed, made into holiday let area or something like that subject to planning. So um, I'm just gonna wander down here. We've got quite a long way to go down to the lake. Um, I'm just gonna stop the camera and I'll start again as we get a bit further. Okay, on. so we've got a little bit of distance. I mean, we were just up there a minute ago. We've got all these fields that surround us, which is looking lovely and lush. Some great grazing on this land. We've got quite a long way to go down. So, I mean, this is again gonna be another quick snippet, but it does just show you all the space that we've got. And obviously the property's all the way up there. This is such a great place. So we were all the way up there a minute ago and all of this land here comes uh, with the site. Now over here is a big lake. I'm just gonna wander around here because there's a very large section of land um, which uh, also comes with here, which is really important to mention and it's, and it's over there. So I'm just stop the camera, give myself five minutes to walk there and I'll uh, just come back in a sec. Right, okay. So now I've got to this section. I mean, we were all the way over there a minute ago. I keep breaking the cameras because 
honestly, there is so much land here and so much space. If I was to walk around it, the video would be about two hours long, <laughs> but I'm trying to give you a better indication. So this land stretches all the way out here. I'll try and zoom in for you. And it goes all the way to that rear tree line. So all the way through here. And we've got uh, the beginnings of uh, this lake, which is absolutely vast. It's a private lake. So um, it's not for the enjoyment of anybody else apart from you, if you own it. And as you can see here, we can see some rushes and stuff in the distance and a heron just flying away as I, as I pop the camera up. So I'll wander around the corner a little bit more and, and show you um, this beautiful waterway. I, I could not record this. We're obviously coming to the side of the lake here. I can think there's a couple of nesting swans in the distance. But this walkway through with this uh, kind of thicket of trees is absolutely beautiful. I'll keep uh, wandering up until we get some proper visibility of this lake, but really, really enjoying this. It's like a little tunnel of trees. I can imagine when all the leaves and everything else comes out, this is going to be quite spectacular. Oh. I think the swans are disappearing off. I mean, I'm surrounded by every manner of wildlife you could imagine. A heron just got up in front of me. I can hear a woodpecker in the background. There's no road noise or anything else to be able to impact upon this whole wildlife sanctuary, effectively. And it is absolutely amazing. But here we go. So as you can start to see, the lake is starting to come into view now. And yeah. I'm going to get a little closer to these swans and hopefully not disturb them. But look at this, your own private lake. I clearly don't want to interrupt them. But over here, we've got a couple of swans nesting in the reeds around this lake. And it really does personify how much wildlife there is. How quiet and beautiful fantastic location is if we look in the background over here we have the nine standards pretty decent visibility today which is lovely and I think uh, as far as a, a view of the grounds go well, it doesn't get a lot better than this does it if you like what you see, please do give us a call on 01768 881111. Thank you.